From the secret bunker doors opening, what's inside, and the seven returning thanks to what Valeri was also studying alongside Pandora's box, all the way to the Metallica concert in Battle Royale, summer update, and even if an F collaboration, stick around until the end, it's about to get crazy in this video. Stop, don't forget I'm an official Epic partner, so before you pick anything up from the shop, make sure to enter code FM1 inside there, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter, only three digits long. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug, now that we've got the brand new cutout, so that means yeah. another purchase had to be made. Last video, I wanted to know the name of this, so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today, however, I want to know the name of this, so let me know down below in the comments, and if it gets hearted, it could be showed on screen in the next video, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, as after all, it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day, with some proof for that recently on screen right now. Diving straight into it all before we hop into the long-anticipated FNAF collaboration, which I'm sure a lot of you guys really want to know about. Speaking of the collab that's now just recently came to the game, Metallica taking over Festival Season 4. If you can't remember from looking at the 2024 roadmap, this was not only shown and now confirmed to obviously be coming in Festival Season 4, but there was also a section for this in Battle Royale right here. The reason for this data mine is concluded, despite us seeing Metallica collaborated in Battle Royale through the guitar solo when the Sandstorm was actually spawned in of the music that was playing, we were going to be seeing a Metallica concert like we have seen in Battle Royale for Ariana Grande's Rift Tour and Travis Scott's Astronomical in Chapter 2 Season 2. The date for this got confirmed on June 15th, as you can see from Fortnite, get ready for a mind-twisting, dream-smashing journey at Metallica, Fuel Fire Fury kicks off June 22nd at 2pm ET and from clicking the article, of course it shows all the different show times across Saturday, June 22nd, 2024 2pm ET, 5pm ET and 11pm ET and then also the next day, Sunday, June 23rd, 2024 at 10am Eastern Time, 2pm Eastern Time and 5pm Eastern Time. I'm sure you all want to attend considering, like I mentioned before, these two concerts in Battle Royale were definitely better than the ones we've seen across Party Royale. There's also a free reward we've got to mention about in just a second, but the experience, if you want to attend, will be in Fortnite's Discover screen for 30 minutes each showtime, so even if you jump in later than the start, you can be part of the full show. Despite this taking over Battle Royale with the floating island already, which I'm sure you're all aware of, alongside bringing one of the most overpowered mythics in Fortnite history in terms of travelling around the island insanely quickly, and we've already got a lot of transportation despite the cars and Nitro this season with the Nitro Fists, if you participated in the Metallica Cup, obviously that happened yesterday when I'm recording in June 18th, and you were one of the top scoring players in your particular region, you will have been granted, or are getting granted if it hasn't been granted already, the ringer emote that you're seeing on screen right now, but this is also coming to the item shop, so don't be disheartened if you actually really wanted this, but never managed to get it for free. <coughs> I'm an epic partner, so don't forget to enter code FM1 for when this does roll around, or picking up anything else, there's nobody doing it like me and Charlie the Charcoal Pug. In other news, the Warforged AI, if you didn't know, has now been removed, which honestly was one of my favourite weapons in Battle Royale this chapter, and combat ARs have been added back, meaning they're unvaulted. A random change, but I guess we'll take it, but what isn't random is what everybody's been anticipating, the Fortnite 2024 Summer Event Update, which has now been confirmed, according to Hypex, to be going live on June 25th, 2024, and after that, there won't be another update for 28 days until July 23rd, which is when 30.30 .30 will be released in the second to last update of this season, then we only have 30.40, and after that, 31.00 is the next Marvel season that they're already teasing, thanks to several leaks, but Sheena confirmed around seven hours ago from when I'm recording that Fortnite has started to playtest the next Marvel season. With a movie called Deadpool and Wolverine obviously being about Deadpool and Wolverine releasing at July 25th, which you're seeing the trailer for in the background right now, or a part of it, as the attention this season seems to be focused on this mysterious bunker at the top of the ice glacier, you know, this one that the airplane initially slid off of, it's fighters hearing several sounds of banging as if something wants to break out of these bunker doors that seems to be growing loud with each update that passes of Chapter 5 Season 3. As you can see, around the sides and even the ramp, there seems to be these scratch marks, and what do they look like? Well, definitely the scratch marks of Wolverine before he came to the game as a boss in Chapter 2 Season 4, the first Marvel season. It's kind of strange that the fourth season of Chapter 5 we're going into is Marvel-themed, and the fourth season of Chapter 2 was also this Marvel-themed season, or the first one. So many different things have come back from the past in Chapter 5, it honestly seems like a mashup of time since the Big Bang event and the time machine activated, resulting in us getting here. The only one who can remember anything from the past, however, don't forget, is Jones, hence why the Society of Valeri kidnapped Peely to try and lure Jones in and gain his memories of the past prior to the Big Bang. All of this has now also been confirmed thanks to the dialogue between Hope and Jones, I won't play it all, but the segment about where he talks of the Zero Point and his attempt to try and control its uncontrollable power. Hope, I have direct experience with this sort of thing. When I got lost in the Zero Point, I, I got all the way lost, so just 
Leave it alone. Power like that can't be controlled. Best case, it destroys you. Best case. It's safe to say this season it looks like this is going to be involved the bunker in some sort of mini live event as we do seem to be seeing one every season of chapter 5, the titan hand with Pandora's box held in chapter 5 season 1, the statue lightning and Pandora's box event and sandstorm spawning in chapter 5 season 2 so what are we going to be seeing this season let me know your theories down below in the comments. Another thing pointing toward chapter 5 being a mashup of time of prior chapters is the fact if you didn't notice the resemblance between Megalodon and Gunner being you know like the second half man of the IO's leader Sloan, then I'm guessing you've been living under a rock. Not only are there physical resemblances, obviously Nitro powered now Megalodon looks way more fierce than any form of Gunner that we've seen previously, but coincidentally in the chapter 3 season 2 trailer, you know, Gunner being a forefront of this fight in the foundation, he powered up his fist to look like no other than the Nitro fist that we see as a mythic and just item we can get in different rarities now in game. If there's been in another universe now thanks to the Big Bang, is this a different variant of Gunner Megalodon? It's a very plausible theory based off what I'm about to mention as it looks like the seven are returning in a different or turned form. Remember how toward the end of chapter three most of them got consumed in chrome and apparently they got changed or turned as described in Amy's voice recordings. This is making a return possible at any time due to the universes or islands we've actually gone through since the end of chapter three. It was revealed in a concept art loading screen that Epic Games made but then changed according to Restro, Valeri loading screen, concept art, foundation and order were going to be in the loading screen until it was changed and as you can see on the image he's right right here as you can see there's two different members of the seven the zero point and such pandora's box at the bottom and this is just an overall concept sketch from this loading screen being the final version we got the other sketch in my opinion is way more interesting as it's the first thing that showed to us that valeri was studying the seven as you can see right here if we turn this on a side this book has the seven's logo on and according to restro again valeri had multiple books on the seven it's safe to say that the seven are going to return at some point but for now it's been postponed by the way all this concept art was done in october and charlie was cco then so this isn't just the work of donald mustard who obviously retired as cco but charlie wen who obviously took over as the cco and now going forward giving us not only the overall direction now but one that's kind of catered toward greek mythology considering he worked on god of war which again is from greek mythology or inspired by it breaking news about the summer update as it's been rescheduled now from what i previously read out in this video so so Hypex stated an hour ago, Fortnite's summer update, not summer event, has been rescheduled to drop tomorrow, being the 22nd of June instead of Tuesday. This could be a mistake, but this is what their roadmap says right now, spotted by Spush, FNBR and Green Fox. And furthermore, other updates that are confirmed for the next months, downtime updates to be exact, are going to be the following. So 30.30 .30 July 23rd, 30.40 August 6th, Season 4 August 16th, as stated on the Battle Pass also, 31.30. 10 September 4th, 31.20 September 17th, 31.30 October 1st and 31.40 October 15th. He also states at the bottom, note these dates are 100% accurate but remember that they could always slightly change if Epic needs to delay an update and honestly this is definitely believable considering the roadmap for 2024 was revealed and it looks like they've got their sights and vision set out for what they want to be rolling out in terms of content across the next few months until 2025. You may be wondering how does this involve as mentioned at the start of the video the Five Nights at Freddy collaboration. Well from taking a look at that list 30.40 this season we are getting an update August 6th and according to Sheena once again Five Nights at Freddy's will announce a secret collaboration August 6th and Fortnite is dropping a new update on the same day too. Is it finally happening? After all the concepts, creative maps and so much more made about FNAF being integrated into Fortnite it would be a perfect time. Speaking of time overall though it's flown since four years ago when Chapter 2 season Season 3 released on June 17th and to this day it's the only season iPhone users can still natively play on their devices. As for those that can't remember the whole free Fortnite movement went down where it got removed off the App Store but if you already had it installed you can still play. I believe it's the final update version where cars were initially introduced for the first time. Yeah it was that long ago. Fortnite Mobile is returning at some point but not via the App Store as the recent update we had on it Fortnite posted shout out to the UK for passing a new competition law. Epic Games Store and Fortnite are coming to iOS in the UK in the second half of 
5 so it's not going to be anytime in the near future but this is definitely a good thing. Some other good news if you're a tournament player you'll be happy to know as of June 17th Fortnite removed region lock from all tournaments so FNCS is the only exception to this rule but every other cup and tournament does not have region lock at all. Speaking of tournaments or FNCS for those that don't know Clix already has a bundle that's going to be returning very shortly but there is another bundle according to Hypex Fortnite will bring back multiple items that haven't returned for thousands of days in an upcoming Clix bundle according to Clix himself so he's getting another one. I wouldn't get your hopes up for Renegade Raider or Aerial Assault Trooper coming back as this is in the thousands of days but if it's just a thousand plus days this doesn't even date back to chapter 2 season 3 which we already said was four years ago. The fact that there are normal cosmetics that have been in the item shop not the season shop haven't returned for 1000 plus days. This makes you wonder why haven't they returned while well, we finally have an answer from FNBR Intel according to a recent TikTok from Allier all item shops must now follow a rule where every item is compatible with all of their new modes otherwise the item can't return. My icon skin is back in the shop but something is missing as I've been sent so many messages from you asking why my emo isn't in the store whilst all my other cosmetics are so I hit up Epic Games and asked them exactly that where's my icon emo? It hasn't been seen for over 240 days and honestly their answer shocked me. It turns out there's a new set of rules that everything in the item shop has to follow otherwise it can't be sold. As the store now has to support all of Fortnite's new modes, one of which is the Lego mode, which features its own special Lego emotes, meaning my little Diplodocus emote needs a Lego version to return. Honestly, that now makes a lot of sense considering Fortnite's a metaverse technically, not just being Battle Royale focused anymore, but as for Battle Royale and the summer event upcoming, we have two free rewards right here being this Peely themed bat bling, and also this harvesting tool that are confirmed to be rolling around, alongside in the 30.10 update for Fortnite guys rewards that have been added so this means the mode is soon going to be releasing and everything integrating it into battle royale with our four guys beans actually getting revamps for each of the normal fortnite skins we already own like peely with us not having an exact date now considering it was projected june 17th to be upcoming the four guys collab initially i'm guessing it's going to be before chapter 5 season 4 as on the roadmap it obviously came before then alongside the pirates of the caribbean collaboration or that being after the four guys collab which we already have teases for in game right now with it being a reference to when Jack Sparrow in the first movie stepped off of his boat sinking onto the dock. Pirates of the Caribbean will be this season's event pass of course coming around with a free and paid section that we can upgrade for 1000 V-Bucks which I'm guessing will get slightly leaked in this 30.20 summer update but if not definitely the one after 30.30 happening again when Epic Games return in July. Drop a like if you're excited for the future of this season and subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any future leaks or uploads. Don't forget I'm an Epic partner so enter code FM1 right now or the next time you log on as nobody doing it like me and Charlie the Charcoal Pug getting giant cardboard cutouts of the code to show our love and support or gratitude to the community rocking it but speaking of other videos click either of these two YouTube's recommended you on screen right now it's a good suggestion whilst you wait for the very next upload I do publish on the channel.